guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Nina. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, I'm happy that you're here. Today, I decided that I'm just gonna try to power through the rest of the Folklore album this week because Taylor is quickly re-recording everything and I need to be ready for when she releases all of her old songs. So I decided that I need to finish Folklore before that happens. So here we go. <laughs> the lighting is so different. I usually film my tutorials in the morning, but right now it's like 4 p.m. So hopefully I can finish this before the sun goes down. Um, there we go. All right. Okay, so the song I'm gonna teach is Mirror Ball because I've been skipping on this song every single time I've done a poll because it doesn't quite win, but I'm gonna do it today. This song, I feel like when I first heard it, I wasn't hugely wowed by it, but the lyrics are actually so good, so I'm really excited about it. So for this song, where's my capo? We are going to be on capo two. And the chord progression is one that we know very well, so that's good. Actually, let's tune the guitar first. That's something that I always forget to tell you guys. Always tune your guitar before you start playing. I'm sure that one time or another, I taught an entire tutorial with my guitar out of tune. Oh yeah, that is so out of tune. If you guys are wondering what I use to tune my guitar, it's this app right here, Guitar Tuna. I have a tuner, but it's more convenient because it's on my phone. So there are four chords in this song, I'm pretty sure. Second fret, here we go. We have C. And then we have F sus 2. And then we have A minor. And is there only three chords? There's only three chords in this entire song. Wow, there's not even a G in this song. I'm shocked. So usually I have my chai tea when I'm filming in the morning, but it's almost five o'clock, so cheers everybody. Grab a glass of wine if you are above 21 and join me in this happy hour guitar lesson. <laughs> it's what Taylor would want. <laughs> so, for the intro, we have, there's a little bit of an intro. So I would just play C. The strumming pattern that I will be using for this song is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Pretty much for the whole song. Hello, this is future Nina. For some reason, throughout the duration of the tutorial, I changed the strumming pattern unconsciously without even knowing it. So, for an alternate strumming pattern, it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that seems to be the one that I go with, but either one works. I must have been so tired when I filmed this because I did not catch that at all. <laughs> okay. Back to the video. So for the verse, it's going to be C, F sus, A minor, F sus. So let's just sing the verse slowly and we'll do the strumming. So we've got C. I want you to know. Down, down, up. So it is very slow, which is good. We love that for beginners. Yeah, so it sounds like you're just doing this drumming pattern twice per chord. That's the same thing for the whole verse. And then, so you do it twice and then you end on a C when it says a million pieces. That C at the end leads into the chorus. And the chorus, I think is, it's literally the same exact strumming pattern. We've got C, F sus, A minor, F sus. Yep, it's the same thing. So. Let's do that together. And it's the same strumming pattern. Wow, this song is so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. So we've got C. Hush. I think you literally do the same chords the entire time. Let's do that second part. Hush, I know they say the end is near. But I'm still on my tallest tiptoes. And my highest heels are shining just for you. 
and then it goes to verse 2. It goes straight from the chorus into the second verse. So interesting that the verses sound more like the chorus than the chorus. I don't even know. I always thought that when she says, I'm a mirror ball, it was the chorus. I don't really know. So after the second chorus, it goes to the bridge, which is the same strumming pattern, and um, the only thing that changes is the melody, really. Even that is pretty similar. This is like such a simple song. I think it is actually the easiest song on the whole album. Wow, who knew? So after she says, spinning in my highest heels, love shining just for you, we start on C. And they caught up the circus, burn the disco down. When they sent home the horses and the rodeo clowns, I'm still on the tightrope, I'm still trying everything to get you laughing at me. And then it goes from C right into the outro. And that's the end of the song. The outro is just the chord progression one more time and it ends on the C. That's wild to me. Such a simple song. This tutorial is gonna be so short. Um, <laughs> so we'll just do the outro. song. Maybe I'll do two songs if the sun lets me. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see the full sing-along version, I'm going to do that on my other channel so I don't get demonetized. You know the drill. Go click the link up here in the description box to go play the song and I will put up all the chords and everything so you can play along with me. For every tutorial that I post on this channel, I make a tab chord sheet that I put on my website. So go click that link, bring it up. You can print it, everything, so that you have all the chords and everything. So that's wonderful. And give this video a like if you liked it, if you if it helped you learn this song. It was a pretty easy one. Um, don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was the quickest tutorial I have ever filmed. Not me going to change my shirt so I can film another tutorial right now. <laughs>